G'day guys, this is Rob from trailerlaw.com.au. Today we're tying an olive clink hammer pattern, the classic emerger pattern designed by Hans van Klinken, and one that certainly catches fish early in the hatch when they're still taking emergers before taking on the spinners. So let's get started. We start with a Daiichi 1167 clink hammer hook. In this instance in a size 12, just so it's larger for the video and easy to see, but often I'll tie these in 14, 16 and even down to an 18. With the hook firmly in the jaws of the vise, so that the flat section by the eye is parallel to the floor, we then take 70 denier UTC thread and wind that onto the hook. Trimming off any excess. Then we bring the thread down the hook shank until we're just about level with the point of the hook. With a small amount of dubbing wax. We then apply Spirit Rivers UV2 Caddison Nymph dubbing in olive. This is a great dubbing. It comes together in a very, very fine noodle when you want, but still has plenty of buggy fibres that stick out and get a bit of movement on the water surface. And the, uh, the UV2 infiltration into these dubbings really makes them stand out when a little bit of sun captures them. So we'll start by making a fine dubbing noodle. Don't want too much on there to begin with. It's always easy to add more dubbing than it is to take it away. Once that's bitten on, slowly bring that up the hook shank, creating a gentle taper up the body as we do so. Remember this section of the fly is actually going to be sitting beneath the water surface looking like the body of the emerging insect. So it's quite alright if there's a little bit of errant fibres going on. We want to get a little bit of thickness as we get to the top of the body. Add just a little bit more dubbing to bring it up to the flat section of the hook. For the wing post, we're using Hairline Dubbin Poly Pro yarn in white. We'll take a small section of this, tie it in on top of the hook with a couple of loose pinch wraps, and then bind it down ensuring it's sitting atop of the hook and then trim off the rear further binding that down and just going in with a little extra dubbing to cover over the end tag then we pull the post up and take thread wraps in front of the post just to build a slight thread dam which will help push the, uh, the polypro yarn upwards before we actually post it. Now to make our post take three or four inches of thread pulled straight up and then wrap around to create a loop. On this loop I'll then slide that through to the centre section of my whip finisher just to hold that in place which allows me to work around the post bring those threads slowly up around the base creating the post from which we're going to 
wrap the hackle onto shortly. So we're going to bring that up about an eighth of an inch, making sure that we hold on to the post every time we apply any pressure to it, otherwise it simply pulls off. And then we'll come back down to the base of the post. and tie that loop off with our thread pulling it back on itself once that's secured we can snip off the loop and we now have our post ready to go the next step we take feathers from a grade 3 METS cock neck, this one in a rusty brown, and we've chosen a feather that has fibres roughly a half a size bigger than the hook itself, so I've gone for ones that are somewhere in between a 10 and a 12, just to give us a slightly wider parachute. Then peeling away the webby fibres and trimming them off, we then take strip back first half a dozen fibres and peel off another half a dozen from the bottom. This is then tied in to the side of the hook shank just behind the eye, bringing it over and finishing it off at the back of the post. For the thorax of the clink hammer, we're using peacock earl. You only really need a single strand. If you've got some nice long earl, if you're using shorter sections, coming to the end of a, a bunch, you can always put two strands in. But given I'm using a fresh selection, I've got nice long pieces, I can get away with just one. Tie that in. Bring the hook to just in front of the post and then with figure eight wraps around the post underneath the hackle feathers, pushing them up against the post and then continue to wrap the peacock curl around until we have a nice full thorax to the fly. Once we're happy with that, we can simply tie that off and bring our thread to the rear of the post this time. Now for the fun part, you really need three hands for this. Taking the post in one hand, we begin to wrap the hackle around the post, starting from the top and working our way down with about five or six good wraps around the post. I like to extend the hackle to the rear once this is done and then bring our thread up to capture that and work it around the post a couple of times over the errant hackle and then underneath those excess feathers and around the post a couple more times. This captures those feathers in place, locks them down. Now you can go in and trim off the excess. From here it's just a matter of whip finishing around the post, which I prefer to do in a series of individual 
half hitches tied in with the tip of my whip finisher to ensure that I'm not capturing any of those hackle fibers and keeping my thread underneath all the feathers each time I go around. With that done, we can reach in, trim off the, the thread, and just apply a very small amount of Loon Hardhead head cement. Using the tip of our bodkin, just find the thread wraps in there and work it in to ensure it holds place. Finally, we trim off the excess from the post to have our completed clink hammer pattern. This is great for fishing when a hatch is happening and the fish are taking emerges. The hackle fibers sit in the film itself leaving only the post showing above the surface for the fishermen to sight and then the body itself sits underneath the water surface. Thanks for watching. Again, all these materials are available on the website at troutlaw.com.au. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. If you're wanting to see any specific flies tied, shoot me an email. I'm always happy to put together a video for you. Cheers.